Mr. Barry here, we're taking a look at some graphs of higher degree polynomials, uh, trying to pick out some information about them. We don't necessarily know what the actual polynomial is, but we have a picture right here. Uh, we're going to take a look at the degrees uh, and see if we can figure out anything from that. The first thing I want to point out to you is uh, let's take a look and see uh, what direction these arrows would be heading into. So, for instance, in this one right here, that's traveling downwards and that's traveling downwards. Um, they're heading in the same direction. We know that if it's traveling in the same direction, uh, that the biggest degree or the degree of the polynomial here has to be even. We don't quite yet know what that would be number-wise, but maybe you can take a guess at that right now. Here again, taking a look at the directions of the arrows, this one's traveling upwards. This one's traveling downwards. They're heading in opposite directions. And if we have uh, two arrows traveling in opposite directions, one's up and one's down, it would be an odd degree. All right, so now let's go ahead and let's take a look and see if we can be told anything here by our bumps. Here in the problem, I have a bump there, there, and there, that would make three bumps that I see in this graph. Now, if there's three bumps, we are always going to add one onto that. Uh, and if I have to have a degree that even, three bumps plus one addition would be four. So our degree of this polynomial would be four. We would call that a quartic. Polynomial. Let's check out the bumps for the other one. They're kind of tricky. I uh, got one, two, three, four. So I see four bumps here in this picture. Uh, and again, we're going to add one on to that, as always. Um, it's supposed to be an odd number. We have four bumps. We add one more on, and Interestingly enough, that would give us a degree of five. So this would be a five-degree polynomial. We would call that quintic. So this would be a quintic polynomial. We don't know a lot about it, but we do know the biggest exponent in that polynomial would be the number five. Then we take a look at the leading coefficients. The way that we talk about that is we're not going to be able to figure out a number. Uh, we will be able to tell whether or not it's positive or negative. So we take a look at the end result. That's the... Uh, way that the graph is finishing up, and in this first one right here, I'm finishing up with the arrow pointing down. I guess finishing up would be a bad phrase. I'm finishing with the arrow pointing down. If I'm finishing going downwards, that means that my leading coefficient would be negative. I don't know the number, but I do know that it would be negative, whatever that leading coefficient number would actually be. It's a negative one. Over here, I take a look at the way we're finishing. And in that case, the arrow is going upwards at the end of the problem. So I'm finish going upwards, which means, again, don't know the actual physical number, number, number uh, but I do know that the number would be a positive leading coefficient. So again, we can take a look at the end behavior of our graph. Uh, are our graph heading down or up? How many bumps are there? Um, there's a lot of different ways that we can kind of help ourselves out here, picking out certain information from these polynomial functions that are higher degree.